Early morning in Park City, Utah, and a first run of the day for the US luge team. Luge is known as the fastest sport on ice, with athletes hitting speeds of 140 kilometers an hour. Hurtling down the track feet first, every millisecond is vital. For the Beijing Winter Olympics, Jason Turdeman hopes to team up with Chris Madster, who won a silver medal at the 2018 Games. Based off of what we already know about Beijing, it's supposed to be our style of track. It's going to be a, a longer track, uh, a high speed track, and an aerodynamic based track. And we tend to gain time at the bottom of, of every track in the world. So I do expect us to be competing you know, for that top spot. We do expect ourselves to be in the mix. Always having fun, Rob. Emily Sweeney's last Olympic experience didn't quite go according to plan. She suffered a horrific crash in Pyeongchang, fracturing her back and neck. It was, it was hard to find any comfort for a while. It was hard to then find motivation. It was hard. I don't like to use the word hard because that means kind of negative things. Like I try to replace it with challenging, but there's nothing, that, that was beyond challenging. <laughs> but some nine months later, Sweeney was back competing and won a bronze medal at a World Cup event in Canada. Not bad. I didn't want to have this terrible ending to luge, have a crash and and be afraid of it or not know if I could do it again. That just didn't, I didn't want to have that with me for the rest of my life. I still feel the effects of it. I still um, am managing a lot of things that I never thought I would have to ma manage, <laughs> but I did it. So I guess that just shows <laughs> that we can all do something more than what we think we can do. The US luge team has enjoyed some Olympic success over the years, but the country is yet to win an Olympic gold medal. If that can be achieved in Beijing, the athletes hope that will give a further boost to the sport. To grow the sport, a gold medal would certainly help. Um, you know, the USA is very results oriented. The headline is always the person that has the gold medal. So um, I think us getting a gold medal would certainly help with exposure to the sport. Although there are still many challenges ahead, this small group of athletes are focused on creating a little bit of US Olympic history in Beijing. Dan Williams, CGTN, Park City, Utah.